how do you tell if a uh, if a redneck is having a period? Oh. Uh, her father's dick tastes like blood. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 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 And that's how we start our podcast. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how, how we, we all start welcome, all welcome to the next episode of the Listening Room. We have our with us our guest John Wang from Sober Sean. Sober Sean. Sober Sean. Sober Sean from uh, the Longan Kitties. Yep. And we have Danny What's up, from guys? from the now. Wait, is your your podcast still up, right? Yeah. <laughs> it means... <laughs> wow. It's still it's still this online. Is top, this is the top notch. <laughs> it's from still it, online. From, Economical po- <laughs> economical rice podcast. Yeah, it's still up. The it's same. still online, but it's uh pretty much dysfunctional at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fabled Productions. Uh, about a year ago. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, o- October, October last year. Yeah. Right, right. And uh, and uh, one of your podcast uh uh channel is uh, Screwed Up Moments, right? Yep. Screwed Up okay. Moments. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> Please don't Sean, include one of this. Been, Sean, are you, are you like actually listening to any of the local podcasts or not? I'm, you not listen- I'm actually not listening to anything. I, <laughs> I, I, I even think Sean listens to, to Listening Room. <laughs> I'm busted for that one. Oh the name, why do you think I'm so desperate to change it a lot to Loba? <laughs> he just okay. comes on every week, shakes his dick, says a few words, eats some more teasers. <laughs> You got that he episode. Yeah, he reiterates that he wants to change the name of the podcast, and then it's uh, he disappears for one week, and then yeah, <laughs> the cycle back. repeats again. That's yes. been going on for like what two years already, right? You guys have been like constantly it's been saying. It's been two years since we <laughs> floated that name. Oh uh, yeah, two years since I've I, at least two I, years. I, I, I saw this loss of lobang thing has been since the first time we met. I think you you guys already floated that idea. The, no, the... I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that it, it came up during like one of our podcasts, like while we are ah. ah. And no, no, I think one one of the reasons why we want to we talk about changing our podcast name is just in case we become uh like we have a ton of followers and we receive too much hate online, we can just shut this down and then start lo- uh, lo- <laughs> lo- 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 And then we'll actually, doing the podcast know, exactly like Danny. I actually like know the more. <laughs> I actually know the law behind your your desire to change your name. It's because there's too many listening room podcasts right out there in the world. <laughs> I think That's if you true. type in listening room, you get the yes. one in, in Spain. I and think that that was there's the one. There's, there's one many. in Philippines. There's there one, in, Philippines. one in Philippines. You, you, type one it, yeah. you type it in on Spotify, and you will get so many different it's variations. Like listening rooms. Yeah. So okay, I I listen to you guys. Uh, I know that this ancient bit of law. Okay, so. <laughs> So don't try to bullshit me with your. Oh, we, we just want to abandon it. Uh, the moment Sean sinks our ship, no, uh, don't don't lie to me, boys. I know yeah. it. And... You, have to, you have to come up with a better one than that because Sean's not just trying to sink your ship. Sean, Sean has already drilled a hole inside. I, sunk. The ship is not sunk because I think it's too big or the water's too shallow. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're just we're just was for honest. The... If you were honest, you would just say we want to change the name for the merch or all the merch ideas. <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting for the day where Sean will accidentally share his dick pic on our uh, Facebook page, lah. And then that will be your first picture. T-shirt, right? That will be the first. <laughs> Oops, I shared it again. <laughs> and then on the back will be brand new dick. <laughs> Let me check out first. Hey, so, uh, Danny, how how's your how's it going, man? Like, uh, we've been you've been staying home for the past sixty days, or? Uh yeah, so, well, 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 sort of like actually, I was uh supposed to be just back in Singapore for like a month for some uh on the ground production, recording, interviewing stuff, meeting with people and stuff, but then oops, the cat's <laughs> out of the bag. Midway, midway through March, shit hit the fan here in Singapore. The lockdown happened, and I got stuck here. Yeah, so it's been a bit, a bit uh, tricky trying to get stuff around. But luckily, most of my stuff is like online work, so it's okay. Like, got some uh, work here and there, so it's not, not too bad. But it's just that staying at home most of the time is damn sian. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, you just released. Uh, you just informed us that season two of Screw Up Moments will be released soon. Yeah, so uh, Screwed Up Moments was the first project that I released under Fable Productions, and then uh, season one 
was already done in December, and then uh, now we are releasing season two. Season two, actually, the first episode just dropped, like, I think it was today, like a couple of hours ago. Yeah. Oh, so then, ongoing weekly, we'll be releasing uh, new episodes for that. Lah. So that'll be about another 10 or so episodes. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Sounds good. How about you, John? Being a business owner, how has this uh, circuit breaker been for you? Oh. Uh, both my businesses all got shut down. Uh, oh. yeah, uh, now then can I operate. Uh, phase one, phase one is still gonna kick me in the teeth. Uh, basically, it's, I'm not gonna get into details of what it is, like, but functionally, yeah. it's a retail kind of uh, space. So, um, I if I'm not mistaken, phase two might not even be um, like completely for me either. Okay. I may have to go into phase three. Wow. So um, it's been a two months forced holiday, and personally, I'm okay la. I, I uh, in terms of cash and all that, I'm okay. But I'm more worried about my staff la. So because we are yeah. shut down, I they they kind of have to um, rely on some other means of income. And we're not gonna share what those are. It's just a shit show la. I hope it's not like OnlyFans or like <laughs> sharing nudies online. Uh. I mean, I, I, if I knew I have to fire them. But... Yeah, oh. Sean, Sean, Sean is laughing because he, he just set up his OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that's the only place it's going to drop, right? That's where, oh, I don't, I don't think he set up his, uh, his uh, OnlyFans. I think he has subscribed for a couple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting for good ones. I'm still waiting for good ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been keeping up on this uh, whole simping saga shit that's been going on? What's it? It's a it's a huge deal now in the US. Um, actually, there's a lot of stories. Uh, maybe Danny, you want to you want to talk about the things that you were <laughs> looking to first before I get into. I have a whole also extensive law on it. Um, well, well, I mean, it is not really the um, like just one particular. So there's a lot of like disparate stories here and there, but it's mainly like this uh, sort of cultural backlash against guys who donate money to like e-girls not yep. like your typical oh. just just the cam girls like for the porn sites or whatever but it's like your twitch streamers your video game streamers lifestyle lifestyle streamers that kind of thing and it's gotten a, to a point where i think there were some people there were some streamers right <laughs> there was this one guy who donated so much until he was behind like four months behind on rent he got huh? kicked out and then he posted like I think a twist a, a Twitter message or a DM saying that hey I got kicked out of uh, I got evicted recently because uh, I'm four four months behind on rent, uh, but I will try to connect to my to my local star- Starbucks or something and I will send my next five hundred dollar donation. <laughs> Love you XOXO. Wow. XO. Yeah, so so this wow. is what people call like the simping culture. It's like people go to like extreme lengths just to revere some uh, you know online personality. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's, it's the, insane. The flip, side, this, the flip side of the story is um, recently there's this guy he he calls himself the top hunter. Um, oh yes, the, the derogatory term lah. Uh, T H O T. Uh, go and search it up. So he actually pretended to be a simp, went on OnlyFans to pay for nudes. And then he sent the nudes to the girl's parents. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. And then um, I mean the, by the way, this guy, this particular guy, this top hunter, um, he's a full-on psycho. Like just straight up, I will just disavow uh the things that he did. He's he the way you see the way he messages the girl is just like, oh, I want you to beg for me oh. not to release the photos to your to your dad. You know that kind of thing, and um, so it's a uh, it's quite crazy, lah. This whole thing it just swings in both directions. It's crazy, man. The thing that I just had to put on a nice wig and maybe a mask or something, some fake boobs, and I got someone simping over me. So you gotta be careful, man, Sean. You don't know who's gonna be out there releasing your pictures to your dad. <laughs> oh no, they're not gonna have a lot of luck with that. <laughs> I'm safe. <laughs> That's what I said. The guy would be like, beg me to not release it. And I was like, I beg you to do it. Go on. <laughs> You're in for a shock, man. My name is not Shauna E. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, Shauna. Whatever. Shauna. 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 
simp hunter maybe. <laughs> it's Sean and reveal everything. Ha ha! No, you, your name should be Sean the Pussy Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a very bad job at that actually. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, you got a cat, right? Yeah, the cat. Cats, yeah. No, 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 that's a different kind of pussy, man. Yeah. Hey, we have the long term pussy, let's not. Cats uh, with me, so if they go crazy, uh, my apologies in advance. They, they look like they're about to go crazy pretty soon. <laughs> On each other. I've been fidgeting and trying to like, get them to stop. <laughs> the, Wait, not how, how many cats do you have, though? Two. Uh, you see, they're fighting now. Right. I have two cats, and now, yeah, they're literally fighting now. Yeah, they're, so, they're fighting for Sean's attention, uh, the pussy hunter. They're, they're fighting for John's attention. <laughs> this, this is just John's way of saying that he's popular with the pussies. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do own it in my home, so they, <laughs> they, like, yeah, it's, it's true that I'm popular with the pussies. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of shit for me as well. Uh. Can't leave that out. Yeah. So do you own any pets, Danny? Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a cat at home, but it's uh in America, it's not here. Yeah. Uh, right, right, right. Mm. Does he have a caretaker, or you just left him there? <laughs> oh, it's with my wife. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Okay. Yeah. So how how often do you uh fly uh frequent between US and Singapore? Well, the past time was only like the first time. I was I, I flew there in November and I came back in March. I was supposed to get I was supposed to fly back at the end of March, but you know delay lah. Which right. is which is shitty, but yeah, what can you do? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, the what what's happening in the states is pretty uh, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. That was that was the reason why I didn't want to go back. It was like, you know, even though Singapore is blowing up, the states was like, what the fuck is is happening? It's yeah. like holy shit! Like like all over the place, you got cases, you got deaths, and 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 people protesting against like the lockdown measures. It's yeah, it's going crazy, man. Yeah. Mm. That's because I think they are First Amendment and Second Amendment yeah. rights, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. but 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 that's something that not, uh, uh, like Singapore, for example, you can't do. You know. Exactly. You can't, yeah. You can't, you can't protest. You can't. You don't really have a voice. Well, yeah. Try. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, thought, <laughs> I I I thought mostly it's because we had common sense. I I I, I have no idea. I mean, so why why would you want to go protest it and with that? You can. There's so many other ways to do it. You can do it over. Over yeah. online. No, yeah, like, like, like for, for example, right, I think uh, in Wisconsin, there was a story that broke out there. They tried to pass like the stay-at-home law or something like that. Then um, people protested. Then eventually the, the law didn't get passed. Then people celebrated by going to the bars. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's for the, the... Freedom. For the, US, for the US, things are a bit different there, though. I mean, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the issue I think a lot of people are raising up is that Every place is different. Like Wisconsin, Wisconsin is a huge plot of land with not a lot of people on it. Mm. Uh, it's not like New York. New York is very uh, congested. It's very um, there's a there's a lot of people per square mile or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the laws that you need to implement in New York will definitely be different from the one that you implement in Wisconsin. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So for I think what what a lot of the politicians are trying to do now is to not let a good tragedy tragedy go to waste la. and they are thinking of uh, confiscating guns and they are thinking of implementing all sorts of measures that have nothing to do with the with the with the corona okay. and so um, of course what the what the media will portray you know like these people are dumb they are, why are they protesting so and so forth but I mean if you look carefully at it, I'm I'm sure there are some really dumb motherfuckers out there. La. There are, there are definitely people out there who go to protest and get the coronavirus and then they cry and bitch to, to the government about it. But there's also some people who are genuinely concerned about their rights as a citizen, as a you know, as a government overreach and yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, because I I think if you're I guess if you're living in a rural area and where everyone's afraid, I think I will be the first one to buy a gun and arm, and arm myself and my family. You know, like, because if anything happens to you in a farm, you, you can't wait for like 20 minutes before the, before the cops arrive, right? You got to defend yourself. And yeah. also, I mean, consider like, okay, if, if let's say you're living on a farm and then the, the governor just says, okay, everything has to shut down. Like, we can't make it so, so that like only one part of Wisconsin is affected, then the rest is normal. Then it's not fair, right? Correct. So um, if you're living on a farm, 
and there's only like 12 other people inside this, you know, 100 kilometer square. Then like, what the fuck is the point of me shutting down my only pub in the area that's only going to serve like 10 other people? Mm. So it doesn't make sense as well. So the the key factor here is that I think a lot of people underestimate how big the US is. Uh, they really have no sense of scale and size of the fucking place and how uh, how sparsely populated some of these places can be. Mm. And that um, the laws should definitely be catered to every community rather than... I wouldn't even... One generic it, law. Yeah, I wouldn't even restrict it to like on a state-by-state state basis. It probably needs to be on a community... County, by- or county, county basis, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Yeah. So, because they are socially distanced just by nature. Yeah. Uh, the U.S. is like the I don't know. They now we have no choice but to use them as an example because of their they're the highest uh, highest infected highest death rate in the world. Only, on, also, a, only on a um, quantum basis, uh, not a quantum per, basis, not a per but, capita basis. But can you imagine that this year is like they they ha- all this had to happen to them while they're still being run by Trump. So like, can, you imagine, <laughs> can, can you imagine if it was run by someone else? Would it be the same? Would it, is there a bias? Maybe there is a bias because I'm biased against Trump. I hate the I hate the bugger, But like, let's just say if it was under under Clinton, under uh, Hillary Clinton. And, I wonder and, whether. And we got an election coming this year. Yeah, maybe. I was like, I mean, and and thanks to Deepen right now, I question. I I, I have a tendency to question everything. Thanks, ah. Uh. So so Sean, here, here's the thing. Come November. Will you be Trump 2020 or Biden 2020? I will be. Uh, can, uh, I w- the, the, the sick thing is that why did they <laughs> choose Biden? For Biden from Singapore. Why, no, why, <laughs> why would they choose Biden? Is there nobody else? Yo, Biden's a pedophile, man. <laughs> even even I cringe when I look at, 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 the, at, the, at the photos of him. I'm like, ah, oh, oh, you gave them a choice between the, the orange head guy and this guy. I was like, what are you doing? I yeah, like I like kids, man. Why? And when you sit on the bre- on the Breakfast Club interview, that has has to be one of the funniest things I've heard. I'm just, I'm just worried that if Biden wins, right, the first thing he changes is the the draft rate for uh, the army. He oh. makes it as young think, as possible, and then he visits. I don't think Biden's gonna win, by the way. Yeah, but there's almost no chance. If they choose, the if they choose him, yeah, if they choose him as their uh, the the, the one that they want re- running. Who would they choose now? Like at this point, who would the DNC choose now? They can't. Yeah. They can't just one else. Well, then it just bypasses the whole election, the whole uh, primary election process. They just right? shot then, themselves in the foot, lah. Yeah, exactly. And if if they simply can nominate and select a person now, then you know what exactly is the point of going what through is... the primaries? You see? Yeah. So, um. Then you might as well just get Hillary Clinton back on the ballot. Or an independent, like, or some independent. They, they won't know. select an independent, right? I mean, they are always trying to protect their, their own. Yeah. And they are more concerned about electability than anything else. Like, they don't, they don't even need to run on a platform. Their platform is, we need to defeat Trump. That's their platform. Um, and and they so, just Biden. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I've I have so no... many memes of, of Biden, uh, like, being too close to kids, to young kids. It's fucking yeah. No, I think his his age or so is how old is he? Eighty? Actually, no. He's a he's roughly the same age as Trump. Actually, I don't <laughs> think. No, much. I think he's eighty two. If I'm not wrong. Is or, Wait, but Trump is like, like seven. Trump's 70 like seventy something. though. Yeah. Seventy. Yeah. Biden looks Trump's like, like he's early. Yeah. Is so he... Joe Biden is seventy seven years old. Seventy seven. God yeah. damn. Yeah, he's seventy seven. Yeah. But Joe Biden talks like a ninety year old man, uh, So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, I think I saw an interview where he's like, uh, you know, messing up his words. When he was giving a speech or so, he's like, you know the stuff. He wants to quote, he wanted to quote something and then he, he misquoted wanted to, it. No, he wanted to say the Bible and then after that he didn't, oh, he didn't yeah. use the word the Bible. He said, oh, you know the stuff. He was talking about God and what. Or, no, he was talking about God. He, not, he was quoting from the Bible and talking about God. Then instead of saying God, he says, oh, you know the stuff. You know the stuff, yeah. Like, I, oh, I, I, have, you, have you guys heard his interview on the, the Breakfast Club? I, I saw the important bits. You saw, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't read, I haven't seen the whole interview yet, but um, the the guy Charlemagne, I mean, he's uh, he's quite a good interviewer from what I can see. He's quite what? 
he's quite a good interviewer. He oh, asks okay. really difficult questions. He's not like a softball kind of fella. Then he asked it to Biden. Oh my god. That, yeah, that, no, that probably Biden, did not go down well. They were saying that Biden said that you know he had to leave the interview because he had some other obligation or his wife had something on or something. And then his parting words were, you know, if you're trying, you're still deciding on who to choose, whether it's me or Trump. And if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's not even if you vote for Trump. It's you ha- if you haven't even decided yeah, yeah, it's yeah, between that you're going to vote for me, yeah. you ain't black. And... <laughs> Yeah. That, uh, he had to be fair to him. He apologized for that comment. Um, uh, no. It does, it, it does show like a uh, his psyche, uh, You know, like the the like the gaff that he says. You know, um, poor kids can be just as good as white kids. Oh, just, yeah. oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Poor yeah. kids can be just as good as white kids, and yeah, you yeah. can see how this, it's raised out. It's like this guy. This guy, right? I'm I'm sure he's a I'm sure he's a closeted member. I I'm sure he's the grand wizard of the clan. Some clan <laughs> like motherfucker is like deep like uh from the from his basement, like he goes missing after yeah. the virus. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. it's clan meetings. Oh, yeah, yeah. It must have been a hot. He's it must a, have been he's a- yeah, it's a Illum- Illum- Illuminati VIP member or some shit like that. Yeah, some probably. Freemason shit. I I guarantee fucking to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think yeah. he must be best pals with uh, uh Jeffrey Epstein as well, lah. Oh, yeah, we're, we're fucking down. Yeah. They, they, they still are. They still are. <laughs> Co-owner of the island, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his, uh, they do say action speaks louder than words. Uh. He didn't actually have to say anything. All, everything he's doing is just so off. Yeah. He might, he might have just been repressed. Uh. Have you seen the photos of him and his granddaughter? Oh, no. No, <laughs> no I'm not. Why? His, his no. granddaughter is all grown up, uh, but they kiss on the lips. I don't know. I, I, I always have I always have like problems with people doing that. I actually I saw it once in Singapore. Uh I think your dad was trying to drop off. And it was his son. Why? His son. Yeah. And How they kiss the on the son? lips. How was the son? It must be a teenager. I think it was a Monk's Hill secondary school outside. Um right. yeah, why? I I I don't, I don't get it. Is, what, is ca- it? what custom is that? Yeah, what exactly. culture is? No, but they are Chinese fellows as well, and and I exactly and yeah. When I saw it, I just had the shock of my life. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> maybe maybe they might... were going for the hug. Maybe they were going for the hug, but they missed. No, 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 no. No, because then they would have parted ways immediately. Like, oh, what the what the hell? This is a <laughs> mwah, and then like, yeah, I love you, son. Like, think... Everybody else at the side is like, if I if I have a son, and I kiss him on the lips, I'll just son no homo like. <laughs> you just gotta slap him for good measure and be like <laughs> well wanted to pound our chest like a couple of times just to assert our manuals again but, but it's not really a display of masculinity you see in, in this case he's kissing his granddaughter on the lips it's, uh, it's just it seems inappropriate I, I mean I don't yeah. I don't even think in, in, in western culture that's like it's usually on the chicks or yeah. like, it's on the chick. yeah, I know I know a bunch of white guys that also have a lot of problems with uh, families kissing each other on the lips. Um, they just they just cannot. They can't do. Yeah. But I think because the lips has always been, but you yeah. like reserved for lovers, right? I mean that's yeah, 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 it, yeah. It's a lot more intimate than just the uh, chick. I mean yeah, we, yeah. we. I mean I'm already quite. Uh, I'm not really a hugger, so you know. That, that, that there's already that one thing, but I'm okay with it. It's just that the you know cheek, kiss on the cheeks also you don't really practice it in uh, Chinese custom, and it's benefiting us now. I mean, Sean, it's hard. It's, it's difficult to hug you if you're six inch hard on. So I think, <laughs> I think that's the reason why. Six, six inch. Hey, thanks. Yeah. No, but but I think let's let's be honest here, like if, if my mom was Demi Moore, I think we'd be making out every day. No. <laughs> No, I don't think it works like that. You, okay, okay, okay. I, you, you, you say that, right? But imagine that you are the kid of Demi Moore, and yes. then you grow up, right? And yeah. then somehow, like, your, your friends in school, like, hey, dude, I saw your mom on this movie, and fuck, she looks banging, man. Like, how fucking embarrassed would you be, dude? No, I don't think Josiah, you would have the same... Josiah, say, Josiah's I'll, is... I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be selling tickets to come to my house <laughs> to watch my mom. That's Josiah's angle. And then to, yeah. make, and, and, and to, to make burn them, you say... And to burn them, they are up off triple pole. This is And to Josie will be the first to say that. Yeah, I jumped off to her twice as well. <laughs> <laughs> for free, he, for free. 
he would free. burn them. He would burn them just like she'll come and fetch him after school and then you look at his friends and then you just go in for the kiss. <laughs> and you look kiss. at them again. It's on the lips, I still suck her tits, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Breastfeeding and this, this conversation is getting, <laughs> getting too too much uh, closer to the path to hell for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, this is hey, the same What are you talking about? <laughs> We're talking about Biden, but Biden has uh, also been accused of uh, uh, molesting women and well, there's a sexual assault for sexual uh, assault uh, case Arizona. as well. Uh, under Actually, 16. Accusation. No, 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 no. One of his. Uh, for, I think might be. Uh, I forgot Para- the age of, of yeah, the. Yeah, Para- Para- right? So, tell again. Para- Reed. Yes. Para- Reed. Yeah. No, so not it was, uh, it was one of the actress. Uh, it was one of the it was one of the aides, the Senate aides or something. Yeah. Ah. Uh, twenty seven years ago, by it was back in like nineteen ninety three or something like that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. she actually tried reporting it. Yeah. Then, but it was suppressed, and her mom called up Larry King live. Yeah. But we don't know if it's suppressed. Um. But uh, now I think there but, are more. There's there's more information coming out. Saying that she went to, I think, don't know which department in the Senate, and she actually tried making a report, but it is not in the record. Wow, well, they actually haven't found the record. Um, yes, and because, uh, they, because they need to, they need to gather the Senate, and then most likely the Senate will say that um, this is not something that the Senate does, and then after that they need to somehow kick it over to someone else. That's most likely yeah. the. The situation that will that will happen, and but, uh, uh, I think he was yeah. teaching somewhere, right? Previously, yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, so I think that was after. I think that was after, right? After she, after she got sexually assaulted, then uh, or the allegation of sexual assault, then I think she became a teacher. No, but they were trying to get records from a university. Oh, because that's because Joe Biden donated all his um, senatorial records. To the University of Denver. Ah, okay. So that that's where he's from, Denver. And yeah. um so what what they are alluding is do you have any um personnel files or any files related to Tara Reed in, mm. in those records hidden or archived in the University of Denver? Mm. And he says, um well, there, there wouldn't be any personnel files and I'm not gonna allow you to dig through those um those archives and the reason that he doesn't allow it is because he says oh because there's there are speeches there are um conversations with world leaders so and so forth that he doesn't want dug up and display during this election period which is a fucking weak excuse i mean it's a it's not a particularly good reason um mika brusinski the one who interviewed him about the about this particular the the terror Sexual... Was it on MSNBC? I think so. Yeah. Um, so she suggested to him, why not you form a committee or you get the University of Denver to form a committee to go through those records and only and only find the stuff with Tara Reed's name on it. Mm. Like, why not do that? And, yeah. then just, and he still remains defensive and says, no, no, um, you know, like, who will we trust? You know, like, what, what's going to happen? Like, um, it's just a very big excuse, huh? Yeah, I saw that interview, and when he said, "Yeah, who do we trust to do it?" I was like, "What?" It's it's not a it's not a good look for him. Yeah, uh, and they already that, don't trust you. Yeah, and right. I thought that interview was very uh, devastating. He, everything he says, right, has a qualifier. You notice, Ooh. everything he says has two or three qualifiers. I don't know of anybody who knew, who said that twenty seven years ago. It's like mm. there's like three qualifiers right there, so. There's always like some plausible deni- deniability, like layers and layers of plausible deniability with him. Uh, yeah, it's a, so it's it's not a good look. Huh? It's the same kind of speech that Clinton used as well, right? when he tries to disassociate himself with uh, Monica Lewinsky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Using the same tactics, sir. Uh. To yeah. be, for me personally, I don't think, I don't think uh, Tara Reid's uh, accounts are very credible. Um, it's a bit more credible than Trump's accusers back in the 2016 election, but I still don't think that it's enough. Uh, however, having said that, right, the reason all of this is very interesting is because when Brett Kavanaugh was nominated for the Supreme Court and he got accused by uh, 
Christine Blasey Ford. Mm, mm, and then yep. Biden came out and says, oh, if a woman comes out and says this, everything believe. she said is essentially true. Oh, so yeah. Bite him in the butt now. The, the word essentially means, okay, the, the fluff of it, the details of it might not be accurate, but the, tr- the core of the message, right, meaning to say the sexual assault allegation must be true. <laughs> if a woman mm. comes out and said it, and Mika Brzezinski, the one of the, the interview that he did, she pressed in on this several times. She said, well, is the essence of her allegation true? And then um, all of a sudden, Biden changed his tone. He's just like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> women deserve to be heard. <laughs> <laughs> women are to be believed. And now it's women are to be heard. Um, okay. Good yeah, job. He, he, he asked for evidence. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I mean, he's a master politician. This is man. The, this is this is the process. Well, this is supposed to be applied to everyone, including Brett Kavanaugh, especially your political opponents. And now everyone gets to everyone gets to see the the blatant hypocrisy, right? The, the just this double standard that the Democrats always apply to everyone else. What, yeah. what whatever mm. happened to with the Brett Kavanaugh case? Uh, was it ever resolved? It was like a freaking shit show for like. No, a but good then few the months. Brett Kavanaugh case, right? The the problem was, so there was a first there was an accusation of a. Yeah rape that happened during a party. So yeah. they look into it, the party actually never happened. But that's what, that's number one. Number two, she claims that she told her friends about it. All the people that she nominated as her friends that she, she claims she told, all of them says, no, I don't, uh, she never told us. Okay. So there's a really a lot of holes in her story. And um, so to me, it wasn't also credible. Uh, uh, it was it was even less credible than Tara Reid's accusation. Um, but of course, the entire the entire left wing uh, establishment yeah. just just ran with that fucking story. Oh yeah, you know it must be, it must be true, right? But women yeah. deserve to be believed. Back then, it was women deserve to be believed, and then now yeah. it's women deserve to be heard. Like that's the that's the <laughs> jump in the story. And the then- moment- my friends are accused. Then is oh yeah, let's just let's just hear them out first. <laughs> then so, so it's be- going down. Uh, now there's a new standard. Uh, yeah. yeah, but but, 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 but up, to, up to today, she still has not been like disproved, right? No, no. Yeah, so it's still like up in the air. Like what? Yeah. But that's okay. the thing about actually the cases, cases, we, we did a we did an episode on this. The 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 particular episode we were trying to I was trying to say was um the politi- the politicization of sexual assaults. So, um, it's always a, like used as a tool to so-called discredit your political opponents. And what happens is, if if my political opponent is accused of rape or whatever, accused of committing rape, then I will go all out to support the victim. But if it's my friends who is accused, then I will go all out to destroy the victim. Mm. And this happens all the time. Like it doesn't matter. Like, like in in terms of um sexual misconduct crimes right against women like they are the they are the like the worst possible combination uh politically nothing nothing is uh working for them legally it's almost impossible to prove sexual uh harassment especially sexual assault maybe you still can uh but in the case of joe biden because it was so-called digital i was using the finger right it wasn't like a penal penetration also impossible to prove there will be no there will be no DNA whatsoever. Even mm. if there was a police report at that point, so all of it is nothing is going your way, lah. Nothing is you you're already fighting an uphill battle, and then on top of all this, right? You have people trying to discredit the public, trying to discredit you and 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 mm. destroy you. Yeah. So no matter what, you're fucked, lah. So <laughs> sorry to say, but it is what it is. This is who they chose. I mean. <clears throat> You have to also take note that the Democrats probably have the most, uh, they have the most information when coming to choose their next candidate. They would know all this thing, or at least I hope they think they would know. He was the vice president for, for two terms to oh, Obama. If he, if he didn't, if he didn't say anything, then how would they know? I mean, the, uh, I, I would hope the Democrats know lah. But if they didn't know, then it's worse for them, right? They didn't know anything about this guy, and they chose him. How to know, yeah? If they if he never come out and say, 
I and why that. and why would he come out and say if he comes out and say if he let's say uh, he sat down all of them down in the meeting all the top eights right and say oh by the way twenty seven years ago I molested this girl then <laughs> if, if let's say but she he, the, but the he girl would comes know out, that it will come out right this, no this day no necessarily Tara Reid didn't actually come out with the accusation of uh, sexual assault in the beginning there were, it was just a bunch of women who claimed that Joe Biden um was inappropriate. Uh, in terms of like how how much distancing there was, she was actually the one of the group of women who who came out and said, yeah, Joe always comes very close to to women, like no no sense of the the privacy, Distance, uh, no no sense of boundaries. Uh. Yeah, correct. It was and, he's only, and he's proving it now also. Yeah, and it was only like a little bit late, a little bit later after um, this initial so called whatever you call it uh, event or whatever. Then Tara Reid came out and said, oh, by the way, uh, he sexually assaulted me 27 years ago. Um, and so the, the, initial, <laughs> the initial point of it wasn't even the sexual assault. Was there a criminal? Did she launch a criminal? Uh, did she made a criminal report 27 years ago when the incident happened? She claims yeah. she did, but they, they haven't... To be honest, don't I don't think they are... I think, the, I think the whole political establishment is dragging their feet in terms of looking through the, the, the national record. archive, yeah, the national archive, the record. So right. uh, accordingly, because she works in the Senate, right? So the, the Senate, the, the body, the, the administration of the um, Senate committee or whatever would have their own way of dealing with something like this. Uh, she claims that she made the report um, and it would have been found somewhere. Mm. Uh, because, but because it's so long ago, then they would have been archived in the national archive. But, um, how to find something like that, I also don't know, lah, to be honest. I mean, right. you think it's easy, but fucking, you got to dig through all that fucking power paper. Lah. It's... Mm. Uh. You, don't, you don't envy the guy or, girl or woman that has to do it. Lah. And not only that, you, you, can't, you can't just have some random dude walking in, because all these are also sensitive information. So meaning to say the Senate right, also must come together, convene and say, okay, we allow something like this to happen. But the all the talking heads, the pundits are saying, most likely the Senate won't allow this to happen. Um, because it's simply not their job. Uh, they don't know whose job it is, but they are, <laughs> they are just saying, okay, it's not my football to kick, I'm not going to fucking kick it. Right. Um, I, I, just, I just searched Tara Reid like, online, and wow, she has not taken care of herself uh, for the past <laughs> It's a botch. She had a hard life. Botch uh, surgery, yeah. Botch she's surgery. Got an abusive ex-husband and all that. I, I think for all the for all the shit that she's gone through, okay lah. I think she's done well. your eyes. Just imagine, there be more whatever. <laughs> <laughs> do Do you think that more workplace uh, across the board, like in, in the world, should um. Uh, do what the Russian nurse has done by wearing a transparent suit. Uh, nice, because nice transition no, there. no, <laughs> you you, I, you have to you have to link. I personally disagree. Uh, disagree. I know it's I know it's contrary to all of you guys. Right. No, I don't no. know. Like, every nurse I've seen right are fucking butt ugly. Like <laughs> no, nurses, you're doing an important job, but all you ugly. I so so here's the important thing though because now in uh, in 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 COVID nineteen right. Almost everyone are wearing eye goggles, face shield, and mask. So it doesn't matter whether they're ugly or not, as long as they have a good body. Okay, so yeah. One, yeah, thing but... I, one thing I need to point out to Josiah is that it goes both ways. We don't only have female nurses, eh? we have male nurses. Yeah, Josiah, uh, and... can, you, can you give some context first? <laughs> yeah, and, 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 so, and Josiah so I mean... is adamant that only the female nurses and attractive one, you know, attractive female nurses are allowed to wear. Uh, for some reason, those that that hazmat suit that is translucent and okay, so, bikinis. So the background is a couple of days ago, um, someone snapped a photo in a Russian hospital where mm -hmm. this Russian nurse was wearing a transparent uh, hazmat suit thing uh, because it's summer now and it's hot and she didn't want to wear her proper PPE, PPE personal protective uh, equipment. Uh, so she, she was wearing like a underwear with the transparent suit and then while serving uh, medication to... Uh, patients in the hospital. Elderly patients. El elderly patients in the hospital and that, and that photo itself went viral and yeah. Mm, so, and for some reason that hospital had a very high fatality rate. No, but I not from COVID. <laughs> not, not, not from COVID. Not from COVID. From, 
from heart attacks for some reason. <laughs> Hi, yeah, no one knows. <laughs> no, that, that, I made that one up, but yeah, continue. It's like, what, 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 like this picture, can we trust it? Is it really, is it not Photoshop? Maybe they took the, I don't know, like Photoshop thing. So, it's, 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 it's trustworthy. Because here's my here's my here's my theory though. Like you know, the best way to make patients recover quickly in the hospital is to have hot nurses uh, wear transparent clothing, if only the underwear underneath. Why? Uh, well, then, ev- no, everyone will get happy. You know, you have blood blood circulation throughout the body. You know, and uh, certain parts of the body will be happy, and you know, you just so feel like better. So person. if they need if they need to look for a vein for you know to get your blood, then they just go down to the third leg lah. You know, yeah, you know currently, uh, coronavirus affects men more than women, right? If you <laughs> pass this law, if you pass this into law, then it will affect women more than men. Because the women will get fucking upset that there's all these hot women in bikinis serving their husbands and mm-hmm. they are suddenly going to fucking blow a gasket now and tell you when it's, so, it's going to be... Yeah. So here at the listening room, we are, we are never sexist. It's always about men and women. So if there are <laughs> more women in the hospital, then we get the hot nurses to wear their boxer shorts in transparent clothing. So yeah. that they too can be satisfied. Boxer shorts in what? Transparent in transparent, uh, like a transparent uh, outfit. Why boxer shorts? Or, I don't know, or, or a thong, who knows. But No, if, if, honestly, I, I'll tell you right now, for me, if they pass that law, right, I will stop wearing my mask. I want to get sick. <laughs> I want to be in that hospital. I want to be ICU, I want to be Just... in, that, in that unit alone with all these nurses coming in. Just, just Google the images, lah, Sean. What? Why you want to expose yourself to such risk? <laughs> it, this is real life. It's a, it's a, a contact, and you not see, on the screen. Touch, then you. My imagination is not that strong. <laughs> That's why you Google it. You Google the photo. You really <laughs> the Russian recipe. Well, then I have to touch myself. That's not very. That I mean, that's not no yeah, different. They're not fucking touch you, ah. They are wearing your PPE. <laughs> what are you talking about? They have. Yeah, and and they're and they're wearing gloves as well. So you they need you know some form of lubrication. If not, it's gonna. Hey, it's way your... better than just looking at the screen and imagining them, right? Even the latex touch is still. I, I I'm too lazy to buy the gloves myself. Your... You watch too much hentai anime already. Uh. Sean's, uh, fair enough, fair massage, enough. Massage parlors are all yeah. closed short. So I, I swear, I'll, I'll not be the only one. I'll, I'll not be the only one flouting that rule now. It's like, why? Why? If I get sick, I get to see a nurse in, in bikini. So I'm like, like, burn my mask right now. So I'm asking for a friend. When will massage parlors be open? <laughs> <laughs> which which for is, <laughs> is it essential I think, services? I, I think Very it's not. essential services. <laughs> I think even after phase three, it's not open, right? Hey, wait. Phase three. No, phase, phase three, everything is, uh, is uh, they call it a new normal, right? So, phase three is with the vaccine, so yeah, yeah, yeah. can go back to normal. So, I think like only phase normal. three. Yeah. Massage parlor only phase three, right? I'm not sure. Or maybe Shit, after man. phase three, so that we're looking at somewhere in July onwards, lah. Assuming. Actually, uh, uh, when I hear that, I think... Phase twenty-five, maybe. I don't know. It might only phase... open in 2050. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That is that is horrible. That is when I would hope a law like that passes. Yeah, yeah. What, what what if right the laws of Lobang they set up like a, a small takeaway store. I then like right in, in the in the background, right, instead of a kitchen you have like a massage parlor. <laughs> that would be right. illegal. But that would be illegal, but we have to rename it for uh for for you know for legal purposes. Or Rename what if it. or what if or what if we do our podcast in a massage parlor? So around the massage table, while someone is getting a massage, we ha- we hold our podcast. Well, well, a nurse in a bikini and a PPE is yes. treating to your. <laughs> we, I think we have to call it physical therapy, like uh, or, or or um, I don't know. We have to call it something else. We have to. Okay. Or I know what you should call it. Uh, as close as Joe Biden. That's why. Ah, for <laughs> Biden. Yes, that's that's the for Biden. For it's like Biden. the. Yeah, and we can. It's not, it's not, our... it's not safe distancing. Is Biden distancing <laughs> for and Biden? Can, I think we can up, upload that, our episode as a you know as ASMR, where we watch someone getting a massage, and then in when you put on the yeah. headphones, you hear our voices. 
<laughs> yeah, so the title is just ASMR. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then but no link. When you go inside, they're expecting yeah. here like the massage sound, and you know, like hand going over. No, all no other you, hashtag, but, just ASMR. But you just hear our yeah. voice, and he looks like he's having yeah. fun. I feel it's like just... this will be the empty ASMR, like empty meridian response signal. But <laughs> like you hear it's... it right and just vomit instantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just Sean like uh, fantasizing about bikini nurses. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> so, and honestly, now we're going do you think in that's a valid I... idea? Do you think we can go viral? <laughs> I think Sean can go, yeah, viral. go for it. He takes off his fucking mask just to see bikini girls and bikini nurses. <laughs> Get me sick, I'll be waiting right outside the hospital. I think I got COVID. This is the seventh time you've come here for the swap. Stop wasting your time. <laughs> yo, yo, Sean, Sean, Sean. If you go to like NTUC, right? Just wearing your underwear, but you wear like a mask and everything. I think you'll go viral, guaranteed, 100%. <laughs> N- NTUC with my mask and underwear. Yeah, just, just your underwear. <laughs> Why not NTUC with the mask as underwear? <laughs> that one definitely viral. <laughs> You see me right. getting handcuffs like, but I protected myself one. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask. Hey, you're wearing it in the wrong place. No one told please, me one. Please do it, Sean. Please do it. I, <laughs> please talk about, about, I need talk to, about breaking the law. I need to have <laughs> a, talk about those people at Robertson Key. I need to have a person that I can point to and say, hey, I know that guy. You, you know that guy in the story? <laughs> I know that guy. It's too easy also. That one from Ishun. I need, I need to submit photos to the Covidiots Facebook page. <laughs> no, but as, as Deben, Deben was saying, we have a list of people for like Covidiots place. So people at Robinson Key. Because those guys caused, you know, caused some uh, pubs to close down. Like they had to close down. No, they, they're well, not closed. Oh, not closed, but they're restricted from doing the takeaways, right? <laughs> yeah, they, they can't sell alcohol. So now, there, now there's more limited places where I can't get alcohol. Oh, there's another announcement. Only I, those places at Robinson Key. I've been I've been sober for about two months now. Yeah, really? how's your how's your alcohol situation, Danny and John? Yeah. The what? Sorry. How's your alcohol situation? I drank like two cups of wine this whole time, this whole circuit breaker. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've only had like a can of beer, I think. Damn. <laughs> That's it. We are all sober right now. Super sober. All sober shots. <laughs> yeah. So, so the the whole the whole debate I think regarding the Robertson Key is whose fault is it, I guess. Uh, so uh, many people are accusing the establishment's fault because they gave away uh, plastic cups instead of bottles, and that uh, led to the reason of people like hanging around the joint and and and, and stuff like that. I still so, say it's the people. I say it's the people's fault. You give them bottle, they still can hang around the joint. Yeah. Yeah. Is they chose to do that? They chose. Like to, what? To like around. what is the what is the argument there? Mm. Yeah. Whatever vessel you you sell your the alcohol or food in, mm. even container, I can just remove the the lid and I can eat while in standing in queue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's the, I think it's the point is that they penalize the 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 bars. No, because it. like the I think I sent it to like Josiah and and, and Sean. Um, immediately as the person was like um, talking about this on Facebook. One of the establishments in uh, question, Tap at Robertson Key, they were replying to that person. They are saying that, yes, this is outside our establishment, but it's not directly outside. People are like at the corner or at the next restaurant, they are just standing there and they are consuming whatever they bought. Mm-hmm. We have already mentioned to them that, you know, you cannot do this in our establishment or outside. And people still do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and people were blaming the establishment for it. By the way, I'm I'm absolutely convinced, right, this is how Nazi Germany got started. <laughs> uh, it's just your it's just your name. It's just like there's a there's just a group of people having a good time, right? And then someone got to go and ruin it for them. <laughs> there's just gonna be some Gestapo people, right? There's just gonna be like you you bunch there having fun. You can't have fun. No we're, fun. Don't we're, like it. We're, we're doing it for the safety of Singapore, okay? He yeah. will be a COVID. You know what? Uh, by the way, uh, <laughs> by the way, okay. So now for the past how, like 50 days or whatever, uh pretty much every night I've been going for walks. Uh of course with my mask on, being a socially responsible citizen. Of and course, all. of course, yes. Okay. So I and my walks are pretty long, I take about two hours. So I walk around the neighborhood and I'll pass by uh, like a, a few of the HDB copy I won't say which one. However, right. 
they are still people they are just gathering and they just like they, <laughs> like they, they pretend they pretend that they are they are supposed to be working you know they kind of just mill around but you know you know from the way the cigarettes are littered on the floor and how the how everyone is arranged they are fucking gathering and they are chit chatting no no fucking doubt about it they they try to pretend that's not gonna it's happening all over Singapore anyway I'm not gonna read them out because I'm not a Gestapo <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, it's a bit unfair, but fucking so what? Like these these guys, they're just a lot of them are old. They 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 need the maybe they need the company or what? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And, or they, maybe they and, want to pass on. And strictly speaking, they are also wearing their masks and everything. Um, there are there is some social distance. I mean, like I said, they are milling around. I mean, yeah, they are gathering, but so mm-hmm. fucking what? It's like just let them have their fun. Nah. they are just like in. It's just maybe a couple of hours at night when there's no one around. Anyway, it's just fucking idiots like me still walking at like 11 p.m. at night, you mm. know, and like so what? Let's let them, just let them do it, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I think yeah, I, and if they are going to take the risk, if they are willing to take the risk of you know getting caught, paying the fines, or get, getting sent to jail or whatever, it's up to them. That's yeah. three hundred dollars for 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 the government. Eh? And these and these are like the your typical kopitiam uncles, right? Yeah. And, and yeah. aunties also, like there's women mm. there. Oh, yeah. I think Josiah was saying that he has seen quite a number of people gathering as well near yeah, his yeah. place. <clears throat> so, um, just beside my place, there's a plaza. And the plaza is like McDonald's, KFC and stuff. So, I sometimes at night when I go down, you know, to, to get some food or something, or or like go to the 7-Eleven to buy beers, I will see like a group of like kids or teenagers hanging out like outside McDonald's. Some of them smoking, sitting down on the floor. So, I mean, yeah. I, I, I too don't care. La. I just I just walk past them and just want to get my shit and but, back. Okay, so think of it think of it another way, right? So if you are out exercising, you don't have to wear a mask. Mm. So then what I will see, right, are groups of cyclists. They will cycle together. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. and then they will stop at a petrol station to get a drink or whatever, get a rest, right? And then when they stop at the petrol station, none of them are wearing masks, all happily talking and spitting in each other's faces. And that is perfectly okay the moment they get on their fucking bikes. But somehow, right, a bunch of kopitiam uncles and aunties, right, wearing masks, being, you know, milling around and being socially distancing from each other, that one is not allowed. Robertson Key people, that one is not allowed. Like, that, this, like the logic of it, right, also kind of defies me. Uh. Mm, mm, it, yeah. seem, it seems, it, 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 I think it, be, uh, it goes towards who is the one being filmed. Yeah. I, so I the Robinson Key for... one was being filmed. That's why I think it's brought up. Then yeah, they took pictures. But like they you said, like, it's probably happening everywhere. Like if if John were to go down and take a picture of that, it'll probably blow up. Someone would say, hey, also, can... also, another thing is, um, actually, I just saw a post just earlier today um, regarding how photographs can be manipulative um, in terms of like how you how you position hey. yourself. Mm. So, um, uh, yeah. so as a Formerly a photographer, I can tell you that there's there's two different type of perspective. There's something called steepen. It means that you go up close, and what happens is the angles right become very um very pronounced. And what what can, what tends to happen there right is you get to see the individual spaces between the objects, and then there's also flattening the the perspective, which means to say that everything looks like it's on one single plane. Everything looks like they're kind of lined up together. And you mm. can do that, right? It's just playing with perspective, right? You can line things up like behind each other, but from mm. the way that you take a photograph, it looks like they're right next to each other. Mm. And that's what's happening with, I think, some of these photos as well. Maybe not all of them, but I think we need to be mindful about like what kind of propaganda is being shoved down our throats. And um, we also need to be a bit logical about like what the fuck are we, what the fuck are we fighting for? Like, it's so strange that, like I said, uh, I mean, cyclists can gather, Without masks, but then, you know, a bunch of guys, uh, with masks cannot cannot drink beer outside Robertson Key. For me, it's... I I think it all I think it all stems from the fear factor. You know, where where people are afraid that oh, what if you know they they, they call them like socially irresponsible because that is uh, if if you get the virus, it's not just about you, right? But it's about you spreading to the people around you, to your family members, to your relatives, whatsoever. And, and and so I think this 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 whole uh, ingrained uh, doctrine has been ingrained into like not just Singaporeans but like globally on a global scale as well, where the government is telling you like oh you have to think you have to be socially responsible and forego your freedom for now. 
so until the virus dies out, until the vaccine is here, then everything will return to normal. Yeah, it could be like a couple of like different groups, right? So it, it could be one group which people like what you have just described. Those people like, oh, you know, it should be a social responsibility. We don't, don't, don't want to spread the disease. Then the other group is like what John said, like, you know, you see people enjoying and then you're like, no, like, <laughs> oh, this, this can't be happening. I am inside here. I'm trying to do the right thing and fuckers are outside there doing whatever they want. Fuck this shit, I'm going to rat on them. I'm going to be a Gestapo, right? <laughs> and then you have another group of people who are like, shit, I don't care what you're doing, but I want things to be opened up. So don't stay outside, get inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be, yeah. be be good for now so that we can all come out later. So like, you know, there could be all these kind of different groups. And so here's the thing, like yeah. a, a lot of people are saying that, oh, we need to <clears throat> stop the spread, stop the infection rates, you know, mm. before things can return to normal. Um, and when the whole um, foreign workers dorm thing blew up, like there was so much panic in the news that, oh, you know, this is going to be a next cluster. It's going to cripple the Singapore's uh, hospital system. Nurses and doctors' lives will be threatened. And then a couple of weeks later, what, what do we see? Nothing. Nothing happened. Like, right now, there's, uh, I mean, 23 dead, which is a tragedy. Every life matters. So one person dies, that's a tragedy. Tra tragedy. But if you compare it to the infection rates, right, it's, what, 0.2% death? No, that's good. Even, yeah, that's yeah, not, yeah, 0.0. The number, 0 .0. The number 0 .0. of people in ICU right now is, I think, either 7 or 8. No, because most of the dorm workers are just being isolated. They're yeah, they are asymptomatic. Right? They're, they're, not, asymptomatic. They're, not, they're not being admitted. Into... So, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. so I think it has come to the point where I think most people, or at least for me, like, I can't speak for most people, for me, we'll look at the, at the stats and the numbers and be like, there's nothing really serious about this. Why are we still locking down? Why, why are we preventing bars and establishments and uh, pushing the, the ideology of, oh, you need to distance yourself from other human beings in order to be safe? Mm, this could be one of the reasons why people are protesting in the states. One of the reasons why. Mm. And if you look at the like, there was a map. I don't know how accurate it is, but it shows like the two states at the different coasts, west and the east and west coast. They are mostly locked down. In the middle, most of the states are opening up. I think Texas and all has opened up already. Mm. Yeah, and they are using like the reasoning that like what Josiah just said, like you know the infection rate is not that high. The I, I death said, rate is not yeah. that high. I think That's in it. time we will get more of that conversation, but it's just that you know whenever there's like a spike or everything, people their their fear goes out of control, and then everyone is like, yo, oh, just comply, just comply, just comply. Yeah. yeah, And then and then whenever they hear any any other opposing argument, they just say, oh, you don't care about Singapore, you're being socially irresponsible. You know, don't 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 do this. But I think over time, once like I said, it starts to slowly die down. Then people will slowly consider them like, hey, why are we still at home jerking our dicks off for yeah, like the past the, six months? The problem yeah. is, the damage has been done. I mean, if you read the report recently, eight thousand businesses have closed. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just that's in one, that's one very This is one. fucking stupendous amount of businesses yeah. that's closed down. Yeah, I mean, and people's more... lives are are severely uh, uh, impacted. There was this uh, China lady from uh, that gave the hand job, right? And then mm. got fined. What is yeah. it like? And ten k, I think. I think like twenty k or ten. I can't remember. Yeah, ten k. She can't afford it. But but the she was the one who was crying, right? Mm. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. she is saying that she has debt in China and mm. her daughter down there as well. She needs to give these fucking hand jobs for a living, and no one seems to care. Everyone just is just like. Oh, you know, uh, she's just uh, socially irresponsible. Then what? What about us? Like how? Shouldn't we also be kind of responsible in, in that sense? Because I mean, don't forget, uh, we are we are using the the force of law, uh, using the force of the military and the police, uh, to go and stop people from conducting business. You know? And she is one of those people who will fall through the gap. She won't be eligible for SERS, for JSS or whatever. She falls through the the gap entirely, and it's not enough, right, for the government to just say. Okay, we're gonna try and stop your expenses, which doesn't happen by the way. My business expenses, right, still goes up. It still mm. goes. I still have to pay monthly. But not only that, right, I don't have any income. I don't have any revenue, and so I'm bleeding money from my business every month, and yeah. much less for her as a you know one one woman hand job machine. <laughs> uh, if she is not <laughs> generating revenue, 
with the hand job machine. <laughs> she is losing money maintaining the hand job machine. So it is a. Uh, I mean, it's it's terrible, lah. It's to me the the response doesn't seems to match. I don't know what the pro- appropriate response is. I'm not a scientist or whatever, but from what I can tell, mm. right, all the scientists got it wrong. Everyone got it wrong. Nobody got it right. Nobody, nobody got the model right. Nobody got the, the infectious rate, the death rate, everything. They're all overblown by like 10, 20, 100 times. Yeah. Yep. And we are all now paying the price for all these fucking ridiculous models. But, 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 that, but that's the thing though. It's like always, it's like this, this is the kind of thing you always see in economics, right? People, like all these government laws have consequences, but people don't see it. And, mm. then because, and then because of this, people don't say anything about it. And then nothing is being done. And then it just keeps perpetuating and continuing. And the only thing people really shout and cry about is like, oh, you have to be safer, you have to comply by the rules, etc., etc. We're not really knowing why, or the consequences that, of it. Well, they only, they only yeah. care about bubble tea yeah, and KFC, like, and McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, th- these are the only things right, that you can like, get people to care about. Because it affects them. Uh. I mean, yeah. it affects their cravings at once. Like, for, for me, my, my okay, la, this, this is bad. For me, but I want the pubs to be open soon. Mm. But you know, that's the worst one to open in terms of you want to keep social distancing, man. Because when you open pubs, everyone's going to rush there, and there's not going to be a lot of distance there. But I want it to be open. And no, you I think th- about it also, F and B is going to be hit by this extremely hard. Because if one more month goes by, right? They're not. I think takeaway is not really benefiting them as much. It's only better be- benefiting the deliveries. Actually, the for F and B right is also a it's also a, a a tale of two cities, obviously. So there's a very extreme. There's one group of people right that's clearly benefiting a lot. Uh, they are usually the takeaway model, so they don't have normally they don't have um, a restaurant. Dine-ins. They have, yeah, they don't have dine-ins and all that. They are more like a central kitchen kind of thing. And then on the other hand, right, you have people who are very uh, heavily invested into uh, tenancy agreements and and rentals and all that. And even though those are kind of subsidized, right? Like I said, you cannot just, for businesses, right? You cannot just stem the bleeding. You cannot just stop the cost. You need to have revenue. Otherwise, you are still bleeding money anyway. Hmm. You, see, you must have a profit. Otherwise, you are you are just losing money. And for a lot of places, right? You cannot lose money. Like, they just have to keep generating income because the, the expenditure is so high. Yeah. Yeah. Not just I don't want to be sober for so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I, I'm starting to believe that this whole social safe distancing bullshit it doesn't really work. I mean, even if I mean, the it, it works on paper, it, it, no, it seems to be working on paper. Like, no, it, it, it's working, but the thing is, I think what John's trying to say is that I think it's too much. <laughs> the response yeah. is way overblown. Like, yeah. I don't think, I don't think a, like such a brutal kind of crackdown right on businesses, um, especially. Is, I don't think it helps anybody la. I mean the, we also need to think about the logic of certain things ah. I mean the amount of things that we are we are risking death ah, for the sake of convenience right is staggering by the way. I mean if you think about it carefully, every day we take bus, we take train, whatever right. We are risking death, and yep. if you look at the, if you look at the death like the highest death rate of anything is it, actually automobile uh, accidents, for like um. And then of course the health related things are like heart, heart disease, disease yeah. and all heart that. Disease, yeah. Which is actually a combination of smoking, drinking and whatever, right? All these are shit that we risk death for in order to have just that modicum of convenience or pleasure. Right? Mm-hmm. So the question now becomes, um, what are we willing to risk coronavirus for? And it just seems to be the response is nothing. We are ris- we are risking nothing. And that becomes like a the 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 fallout from that kind of response, right? Uh, the cure might be worse than the disease, lah, I will say. Yeah, yeah. Because, I, so, so I was just saying, right, like, I, the, one of the reasons why I feel that the mask isn't uh, as effective uh, as many people claim to be is because we still have our hands, you know, and, and if we don't, uh, if uh, like, when you take public transport or you even go walk to the lift and you press buttons on the lift with your hands, mm. And if someone sneezes and you know uh, someone who who's infected sneezes on their hands or with unclean hands touch the touch the same buttons, and you rub your eyes, rub your nose, and that kind of shit, you're still going to get, you know, you're, you're going to fall sick. So and don't, and don't forget the WHO right. The, during the first few months of the coronavirus, they said don't wear masks. It doesn't yeah. work. 
Yeah. Don't forget, like, the, the WHO is not, a, is not a good source of information. No matter exactly. what fucking Facebook and Twitter says. <laughs> no, at all, at all, yeah. They are they are awful. They are they don't even they don't even acknowledge the existence of Taiwan. I mean, there's a you point you give any ma- manufacturer outside of China, and you can point to a landmass called Taiwan, and they're just like, oh, sorry, interview's over. I I I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. So it's they incredible. the the whole the whole uh claim by government and politicians that coronavirus is deadlier than a seasonal flu, but uh if you on, on WHO in 2017, they actually uh, had, a, had a report saying that um, global deaths from seasonal flu is between uh, 350,000 to 600,000, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, um, that's yearly. But that's yearly, 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 yeah. Yearly. But that, that's, that's on a quantum basis. If you look on a, on a percentage basis, coronavirus is a deadlier. Yeah, coronavirus is... Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so what they're saying is technically true, but of course, we also need to look at, the, look at the scale. The absolute, yeah, the absolute value as well. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are saying coronavirus is less than 0.1%. Actually, I think it's lower than that. Uh, the reason I think it's lower than that is because there are people who get the virus, they don't know they got the virus, and it's never recorded they got the virus. So as a result, right, the, you can only compare death rate to the, to the cases that you know has happened. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So if there is a proportion of population out there, whatever percentage that may be, right, that will bring the ultimate death toll down. And um, there's also some reports that indicate, right, that uh, if a patient dies from, let's say, heart disease, but they have the coronavirus, right, then they will list down the, the cause yes, of death. The coronavirus. Yes, coronavirus. Yeah. So yeah. you are in, so at the same time, right, there's an inflation of the death rate, and then there is a miscalculation of the of the total infected. Uh, mm. Definitely, that one we will never know, lah. Or we can we can only guesstimate. But meaning to say that whatever death rate that we have now, right, is just wildly inaccurate. Right, and it might actually be the actual death rate from COVID nineteen might actually be lower than the total number that is being is portrayed. The, I mean, I'm almost I'm almost hundred percent certain it's lower, like way just way way lower. Yeah. Yeah, because the more you test, the more positives you're going to find, mm. and then the rate. It's going to go lower and lower and lower. So yeah. here, here's the thing, though. If five guys, right, who are not in politics, we're not scientists, we're not doctors, we have no medical training, and we can see flaws in the system, why are scientists, politicians, global leaders not talking about this in the media? Agenda. We, we don't have an that's agenda. A very, you actually that's can't very, answer that. There, there, there won't be any satisfactory answer. I mean, yeah. mine is because we, we don't have any hidden agenda. Or at least... Not for me, lah. Me, I just want the beers to come back. But <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's, that's, that's just good enough agenda, right there. Yeah, that, that that I might. So when you said five guys, four of you might not have agendas, but I do. I I would rather this thing be lifted so I can go back to the bars. But I know that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's that's my agenda. Sorry. Well, I think yeah. it's, um, anything that leads anything that leads to that happening, I'm for it. But okay, so you think about it this way, right? So once again, don't let a good tragedy go to waste. Mm. Um. I think the Singapore government, this is my conspiracy theory, this is my personal opinion. Um, they are testing out the, the tracking of every individual Singaporean in Singapore. Yep, the track app, I think, right? I think, app. I think that is what they are trying to do. Mm, the yeah. moment the contact tracing thing came out, right, and people were celebrating, I was just like, you guys are fucking idiots. Like, we should have never gone on board with the initial contact tracing app. And now there's the safe entry app. Mm. Like, fucking... Like you're gonna know every fucking Vietnam bar that I'm, I'm gonna step into. Like <laughs> a, that is a egregious <laughs> invasion of my privacy. So that is like, yeah, yeah. I I think I think we are gonna reach a point where like I'm less worried about the coronavirus and more worried that the PAP knows exactly where I am all the time. Yeah, yeah that, that's true. That's true. Because yeah. that is gonna be the new normal. Wherever we are gonna go to for the next few years. If okay, I'm I not fucking wrong. hate that term. New normal. Fuck that term. Okay? <laughs> Fuck that. This new normal shit. There's no new normal, okay? It's just a bunch of guys with guns, right? They're just putting the guns on our head and they're just saying, suck my dick now. Suck my dick now, deeper. This is the new normal. Look at it. Wait, wait. So who, 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 who are the guys with guns? The, the, the men in the I white, the white suits. Well, so the, the, the men in the white suits. <laughs> Name them and tag them in the post <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah, so the new normal is going to be <laughs> registering wherever like what you're saying like whatever Vietnamese bar wherever we're going to go we're going to be lining up 
mm. and going to be scanning that shit and going in. Okay, well, well, what is the new normal, right? It's like something like China. Except it's like you get demerit points for degenerate behavior. Oh, then I don't even have to... Uh, oh. oh my god, like so, what the so, hell? So say, so say you guys, right, on your Saturday afternoons, you spend like the whole day, basically the whole day just drinking at the bar. Yeah, <laughs> basically, after one, every uh, week I'm going to minus points. And then by the end of the month, I'll have nothing, no rights whatsoever. I can, and after, I, after, afterwards, MOH is like, you have uh, violated our advisory guideline for recommended time spent at a <laughs> food and beverage. Like, for the number of units. Yeah. <laughs> for number of units of alcohol it's, consumed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but actually Singapore has incre- increased its uh, alcohol tax pretty pretty uh, over the past few years. So I think they want more people to drink. Oh, another thing, if I'm not wrong, uh, from July, cigarette packs are going to have the the neutral pack, uh, packaging. Oh, it's, already, it's already in place, man. What's a, it, what, what is that? What's, what's it's already in place, place uh? Yeah, 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 the the, the packaging don't have the don't have the branding yeah. anymore. Already. I think for some of them is already in place. Oh shit! Oh, okay, okay. What do you mean? Yeah, but I think the enforcement comes in from July twenty twenty. So like from July onwards, right? It, it's must every so for, brand. What's so a neutral? So for Sean and the rest of the audience, um, we're not smokers. Like uh, you know how cigarette packaging have the branding, their marketing material, the logo, right? yeah, the logo, Mar- and all, colors, Marlboro and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, so now onwards, there won't be that. Right. They're so going to be like an olive cigarette. green packaging. Yeah. And then the brand will just be written in white. Uh-huh. Yeah. And whatever, like, um, whatever, like menthol or whatever, will be yeah. written below that, all small letters. And then the Surgeon General's warning or the, you yeah. know, the health warning will be massive. You still have the picture of the fucked up baby, but then the yeah. thing, branding everything is gone. Yeah. yeah. Right, so no right. branding anymore. So yeah. now so you just go there. Marlboro Danny, green. As, a, right. as an economist, right? Can you explain to us why that is terrible? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did a lot of research on this. I, I fucking know it. I know you did a lot of research. I, I, why I, actually, I actually don't give a shit about, about this anymore already. You just it's want like, a cigarette, like, right? Like, no, no, the, 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 my, my, my take on the on the whole cigarette thing in Singapore is like, I find it very hypocritical. Uh, it's mm-hmm. like, uh, who is he? Heng, Heng Sui Kiet, right? Comes out every year on the budget, on, on the, during the budget announcement. And then he always, he always reserved this one line. This year, our cigarette tax will increase 1%. No justification needed, no nothing. Just immediately put there. I'm like, motherfucker, if you want everyone to stop smoking, just fucking ban cigarettes outright altogether. Why you want to make us suffer, man? <laughs> Money. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know whatever reason, lah, but I've I, I given up the ghost on, on this one already. <laughs> because I think, yeah. I think here's the thing. Cigarettes <laughs> are not that deadly, not too deadly enough that you have to ban it. And also, it's a profitable business. So that's no, why they can't. Just like alcohol, right? I mean, but neutral, yeah, alcohol, the neutral alcohol, branding thing. Alcohol is a wor- way worse killer than yeah. cigarette. Yeah. But alcohol kills way, way fucking more people than cigarette ever, ever did. But they die happy. Well, depending on. I mean, happy, yeah. when we talk about when we talk about alcohol related deaths, we're also talking about like drunk driving and all that. Oh so, no, yeah. that one, yeah. 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 Well, that one's uh. It it also, it also talking about people, yeah. people who drink too much who get like alcohol poisoning, end up in the hospital. Mostly yeah. just stupidity lah. But what yeah. is this new neutral neutral branding? How then people just choose it on price? Right? Uh, uh, I think that has brand. been happening for a very long time, lah. People who just buy no, what, based on the basis no, of but how I'm much trying it's to I'm trying to figure out what's the point of the neutral brand. It, no, not only what, that, they've, they've also do? they've also been increasing the minimum age, uh, uh, yeah, I, think I think now it's like twenty or twenty one already. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. But they've been talking about it for many years though. No, it was 18, then it became 20. It's in place now, yeah. Now so I think it's like 20. Let me, let me get this straight. Uh. At, at, the, at the age of 18, right, some people 17, the government can put a, a fucking rifle in your hands, right? Command you to walk over the fucking causeway and kill people, but you can't fucking take cancer stick and smoke it. Yep. That, that to me, right, is so fucking way beyond the realm of logic, right? It's just like... I mean, like get the get get fucking real lah. You know what I'm saying? You know that yeah. when I was in NS lah, I I had to did I, I had to do a dental surgery, hmm. and I couldn't sign my own consent form, and my mom just got so fucking pissed off. She she just like can send <laughs> my son to go to war, but he cannot sign his own dental surgery consent form. <laughs> and yeah. it's the same logic here, right? Like you you can send these kids to go to war. But they can't fucking they, they cannot make the decision to buy cigarettes on their own. I mean I mean in the in the US it's more pronounced, right? It's like they can start driving at the age of what, sixteen? Yeah, but, but that's <laughs> well, that because, 
they have to have a lower age because people who are living in the rural areas but there's no public transport, they need to drive. No, and, okay. and a lot of them start working quite Singapore, young. Oh, no, no, Singapore, driving, can start, no, Singapore, Singapore can start learning at 16, right? Mm. Mm. 16 Singapore or 17. Yeah, you can learn. The, the, the license you can only get at 18. Mm. But I in the states, right? In, in, in the states, yeah. in the in the states, states it's the same. At like 14 or 15, like some mm. of them are. But like the same know, thing with war, like what John was saying. In the states, right, you can join the army at the age of 17. But you can't drink. Yeah, you can't have alcohol yeah. until 21. Yeah, so you can go yeah. out, you can go and kill people at another country, you can come back, and if you are still like 19, you can't drink. Because, because they want you to do it while sober. Yeah. Exactly. So 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 the, the 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 thing about cigarettes and why I think it gets a bad rep is because of the second hand effects, right? Like people smoke, you know, your the the people who pass by they might get like second hand lung cancer or whatever. You know, they smell bad. Then uh, people at work might complain that why they, these guys get cigarette breaks, you know, when when other people don't that kind of thing. And that's why I think there's a, a bit more pressure uh, or a bit more stigma against cigarettes as compared to like alcohol or driving. But then. <laughs> The way, the way, the way. In my personal opinion, I think like driving is like the the scariest thing, la. <laughs> Yeah. It's like driving you're all on the road like, in like know. this ton. It's like what two ton metal machine killing machine, that like any wrong movement, especially if you're on a highway or something, it's like boom. There's like I don't know how many lives, mm. uh, irreplaceably damaged right there. So it's a seven hundred kg cherry of death, lah. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, lah. Yeah. No, but the reason why this packaging thing came or the, the reasons why it was uh, mentioned, the reasons mentioned were that younger people are attracted towards like marketing gimmicks like menthol, the different colours, all those sides, all those type of packaging. That that is what MOH said. What? So that is why yeah. yeah. So one of the reasons. One of the that, reasons. That was that was my question. The whole thing is like, what what would that do? Preventing them from from advertising, but it's still there. It's still the cigarette. I I don't get. I don't understand. Yeah. The, yeah. The, it makes no sense. It is, it's still written there. It makes no sense. I'm a non-smoker, but it makes no sense. Whatever thing is still written there. If you're going to smoke, you're going to go and buy it. It's not yeah. a branding. So, so the government sees us as like a uh, bulls charging towards a metal dollar. You know. Where you see red and then you go crazy and you're like, I need to get the red pack. So and now you're like, okay, yeah, is it like, no, I, think I, it's, I think it's worse than that. I think they really just sees us as like a brainless automaton. Like, we're not even zombies. We're not even like running towards the brains. We are just like, um, it's just like program. Like, any external stimuli, right, will just like program us instantly to one like that one thing. Yeah. You know? It's Ooh, like you mom. can have marketing for everything else. You can have marketing for KFC, which also, by the way, probably kills more people than cigarettes. Yep. <laughs> um, however, the moment you have some colors on a cigarette packaging, right, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, shiny, oh, I gotta go get some me cigarettes. Like, fuck off, lah, seriously. Oh, and, and, they, and they make e-cigarettes illegal as well. Ah, because they can't oh. tax it. Yeah. I, I, I think yeah. Their, their stance is that they want to, they're, they're trying to fucking have their cake and eat it too. Okay, on the one hand, they're trying to stop out cigarettes or smoking in Singaporeans in general by limiting the new new people who will get uh, into smoking think, in the yeah. first place. So that's that's you do that by you know fucking just putting them be literally behind a fucking cupboard wall whenever you go into like a grocery store. You do yeah. that by removing the packaging. You do that by banning marketing. You do that by banning advertising of the product. And then after that, you still get to maintain like the the revenue generated from the tax. By fucking milking the current smokers, lah, yeah, mm, mm. increasing the 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 tax each year, yeah, yeah, it's them you know slimy. What, and you know what's the best thing? After having this conversation about cigarettes, makes me want to have a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we're talking about age and uh, and 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 uh, but I think what one thing that we should be happy about is that the age of consent in Singapore is sixteen, lah. So, oh, by the way, by the way, so, about that, about that, I have a story to tell. This is important for all the guys out there, right? Like, don't be, don't be suckered by Josiah's uh, yeah. interpretation <laughs> of the law. Okay. Yeah. Um. So the age of consent. This this one deepen can back me up on it. On the age of consent, right, is sixteen, but prostitution is eighteen. And now, what constitutes as prostitution? So let's say I bang this sixteen-year-old girl. I'm so happy with her, right? I buy her a watch. <laughs> I buy her a watch Shit. after banging her, and then the parents find out that. I not only bang her, their daughter, I bought them a watch, and then now they can sue me, not sue me, they can press charges 
or the state can press charges against me for prostitution. Am I right, Deepan? Uh, I think we have discussed this before, right? Uh, yes. We have spoken about this. Uh, it, it is a slippery slope, lah. But if the if the prosecution wants to make a case out of it, they can. Yeah, they yes. can. So yeah, don't, they really want to get you. Don't, don't, Josiah, don't, don't go out there with your lexicological interpretation of the law. Okay. No, but he didn't interpret it. He just so, he just stated the law, though. Okay, yeah. so so, so let me he get said that if you find a, if you want to have a sixteen year old girlfriend, that's fine. <laughs> no, so so let me get this right. Uh, thanks, John, for clarifying the this, this whole law thing. But so if so, if, to be safe, if you want to bang a sixteen-year-old, you shouldn't buy her any gifts. Yes, buy <laughs> her nothing. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Not, not even KFC. Not, not even KFC. a pair of cigarettes. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Right. So 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 to be to 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 be clear, if you ever find yourself in that situation where you bang a sixteen-year-old girl and you accidentally buy her like McDonald's or something. And the mom finds out. Make her buy you something back. And and her mom finds out and wants to really, you know, stick it to you and press charges. They will take you to court. And then in the court, the the prosecution has to prove (laughs) that she was selling her body for McDonald's. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she really loves McDonald's. You know, no one's gonna judge. Yeah, but, but it usually wouldn't work that way, like it Usually, it will work with like a police report, and then okay, you okay, say yeah. that then you know my oh my daughter was uh, uh, forced into this or something. You know, it uh, would not be that oh I I did it willingly. I that would not be uh, the way that you know it would have gone. So it might have been the parents like saying what happened, and then the police or the prosecution acting on that. Yeah. I, know, yeah. I think I think that there there will, there will have to be a a, a balance. Uh. So McDonald's cannot uh. but if it's a watch, a substantial amount paid, then yes. I think it'll probably so be what, above. What, what if what if I buy her two thousand nuggets? <laughs> what if I buy her then, then that's substantial. That's substantial. Okay, so and it also proves that you, you want to fatten her up for, no, for future McDonald's use. Don't, don't say McDonald's cannot. Okay. Yeah, it's too quite hard, uh. So if if you went overboard, uh. I think I think the best thing to to pay to get to pay for sixteen euros for u- university education, uh. So at least you can you know. Her sixteen euros going to university. I, I, I like I like how you're still give her some. Uh, a, I like how you're still fixated on this sixteen euros. <laughs> just just like, is is that is that your agenda right now? Is, is there something about going? Our, uh, the young future of Singapore? You know, <laughs> I, I, I like them to. Josiah, I think you have a making right of a sugar daddy. I think you, <laughs> I think that you you should just go with that. Just, just be a sugar daddy. The first thing about a sugar daddy is that they need to have money, which I don't. Uh, have. Uh, uh, uh. You don't have. You don't have to do that because right now social desti- uh social media age right can just tell them you have a podcast and let them assume the rest. Right. What if we get them to be the, uh, to lie on a table to get massage, in the podcast, <laughs> and then. Would that make us feel? You, you tell any, you tell any women the, that we we have a fucking podcast that pussy gonna become dry as a sad. As a... <laughs> Nobody's gonna be like, oh man, I got Joe Rogan right here. Fuck off, lah. Every every Singaporean woman is just like. Oh, he, he's got the, he's got the, he's got the initial. Uh, he's got J. I'm Joe Saya. Hey, you ne- you never know, man, John. The perception has changed since back then. Okay. Since the since the the. Oh old yeah, days. we actually want to talk about that. We actually want to talk about how like. Podcast has changed mm. from the time we started. Yes. Now, 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 it's, now it's a thing. Like now it's a I thing. don't know how much. Yeah. But I still, I mean, it's still not like a. In my mind, uh, it's still not like a readily welcome uh, source of entertainment for a lot of Singaporeans. Mm. Uh, I could be completely wrong. Uh, Last King, the the guys over at Last King seems to be doing quite well. Um, but I don't know of any like local podcasts. Who are getting like stupendous numbers? Other than the the those those Malay fellas, I can't remember their name. Okay, let's go. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah but they were ex radio DJs yeah, as well. Yeah, right. And that and, and that kind of like proves my point, which is that yeah. you need to be you you need to be a celebrity first. I think Nathan Hatton, Hatono also has the podcast. Yeah, because so uh, he was a celebrity prior to having a podcast, so that kind of works out in his favor. Uh, for the rest of, of us. Uh, starting from ground, starting from zero, I don't think any of us have gotten that kind of numbers yet. Yeah, but yeah. if you look at our Facebook page, right, the the podcast uh, Facebook group, 
like yeah. when it was started uh, two, two years ago, I think Danny, you the one who set it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were like maybe what five, six of us, and then now we have like over a hundred uh, members. Yeah, but it's like it's like it's like a bunch of random ass people though. Yeah, it's yeah. like people join. It's like join for like, and then after that they just disappear. Yeah, some of them they join just for random reasons. It's like, oh, I'm going to start one. I want to learn more. Okay, accept. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, I just started one. Okay, accept. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's like now I'm starting to filter the members. Some of them are really giving some lanciao reasons. Uh. It's like I remember one saying one <laughs> one request to join saying for fun. And they're like, fuck you, la, <laughs> Okay, so here, so so this podcast will be uploaded on the Facebook. I will send the link to the Facebook uh podcast group. <laughs> so if any one of you are listening at this point, if you give any lanciao reason, right, you'll not be accepted. <laughs> Wow. But they are already inside the group. If, if they're already inside the group, yeah, they're, they're already, already inside the group. Yeah. Yeah. No, no yeah. then, then, then no, you're if you're watching you it on either of our like Facebook pages, like Longkang Kiris or Danny's page or our page, and if you want to join the group, just suck a cop. <laughs> Danny's cop. Danny's cop. No, but I mean, I mean, so so okay, okay. So to join the group, right now, I set up like three basic questions. Okay, it's just like. Uh, you know, uh, are you like a listener? Are you like a fan? Do you intend to start one? What is your what is the link to your podcast? That's it, right? Yeah. Very very basic that's, that's shit. Four, okay. Right? Is that four? Am I am I missing something? Sorry. Is that four questions? Oh no no, no just 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 three lah. But but I, I I can't remember the questions exactly. All right. Yeah, okay. But they're very very basic shit, and this is basically just to filter like people who are actually producers or looking to make a podcast. Separate from like those random ass people who just join groups of fun, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And, and still so- and still we get like a ton of people who just join, they do don't answer the questions, answer random things like just wanna have fun. <laughs> like come on, I do. Yeah, and they're posting their own shit as well. Like Danny, I remember you said that people have been flooding this uh page with posts. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, please yeah. Uh, we will do it like weekly thing. Yeah. So whenever I I put it up, then you guys can comment and like you can put your new shit. Whatever you want to promote. I yep, did yep. that specifically because of this one guy who was super annoying. I forgot his name already. But he was yep. like, he just joined. Then he literally kept spamming the group with like his show, like his last episode. Like re- rep- repeatedly, you know, like three, four posts in like an hour or two. Okay. Then I, I keep, have to keep individually removing and removing and telling dude, stop spamming, stop spamming. Okay. Then mm-hmm. I give him like this one space on Wednesday. <laughs> then the first time he goes up, he puts like three links in three comments. I'm like, what the, <laughs> fuck, is, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> so was it like whatever he has already posted before, he just repeated everything? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And what, if, I think I saw it, and all of his posts, right, the, it, they were worded fucking badly. I mean, like, I was like, like is this guy even literate? <laughs> You can do the same thing. Very Just go to go to his page and paste all your old, old episodes on it. <laughs> yes. No, yeah. it's, like, it's like combine. It's like, okay, so 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 here, here's my stance on it, right? I, I generally am okay with people sharing their work and and because I want to know people who are out there doing producing new shows and stuff like that. I want I want to hear you. I want to know who you are. But the thing is, when you treat us, we are a group of pop producers, right? When you treat us like a group of like any old random group of people just to like copy and paste a link to. I find that shit really disrespectful. Uh. Then it's like, okay, too, you can't spam this shit, man. This is too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this right now. Yeah. 99% of podcasts are just awful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I will, be, I will also be the first one to admit, right? Like if you, I will never advertise my episode one of Longkang Kiddies anymore because that shit is just awful. Like I, <laughs> I can't stomach it any longer. You ask me to listen to it, I'll just vomit. Uh, it's only very recently, like maybe the past 10 episodes, I think we're kind of getting a little bit better. But it took us like, it would have taken us 50 episodes uh, by my logic is. Yeah. And then yeah. there's like almost two, two years, two years plus of work. Before we've gotten any, any good at it. Yeah, and, and speaking of this, uh, I, I, I 100% agree. My my wife likes to make fun of my episode zero of Economical Rice podcast all the time. <laughs> and uh, but but I recently listened to fucking Gary's episode, right? He posted like a re-upload of uh, I think it was like his his series on like jobs or something like that, where he interviewed like this documentary filmmaker, 
Holy shit was that episode bad. Gary, if you're listening, fucking buck the fuck up. That episode was damn bad, man. <laughs> it was it was like it was like was it I'm serious, I'm serious. Uh, I'm serious. Uh, Is this considered snitching? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it was like it was like for one, uh, the audio, right? The audio, it was like you oh, know, audio man. have two channels, right? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how he managed to record his interview whereby he was speaking on the left channel, the guest was on the right channel. Oh my! Except in his edit, he never make it that both were on like stereo have their, you know, both is like a mono channel or something. So when you listen, right, it's like one side is Gary, the other side is a guest. It's <laughs> it's horseshit, dude. Got one. And then like the the conversation they have is literally they're literally discussing what kind of interviews, what kind of questions can I ask during interview in an actual like conversation. Interview. My, I'm like, my goodness, what am I listening to? He wanted to make you think. <laughs> and and and, and no, Gary, and I know Gary has this thing whereby he always says like, like like you know he 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 wants to be like the Mark Maron. He wants to have it like a conversational flow. But there is like a difference between like being able to have a conversation with people and just like free flow bullshitting. <laughs> and that that episode was like free flow bullshitting like to the max. Uh. It's like, it's like, you can tell, right, even the guest was like, is, is this guy for you? <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? I think yeah. that, that's, the, that's the problem with a lot of podcasts is that um, <laughs> a lot of people really don't have any structure or format to it. And then they, they, just can't, they just think that, oh, you know, if Joe Rogan can do it, like, so can I. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, I mean, all of us would attest to this. Like, it's actually not easy to have a conversation uh, over a podcast. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And you, we... I think we, we, for all of us, the lesson that we learn is we have to put in the effort to be entertaining. Yes. And, um, it's not just like, just like verbal diarrhea or mental diarrhea and you just like non-stop bullshit. It, it, it doesn't yeah. work that way. Yes, uh, yes. And, 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 only a few people can do that, dude. One of them is Bill Burr, man. He does his podcast like just him ranting and... Yeah. But then again, he's like uh, one of the greatest living comics out there in the world. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, but he started yeah, but, off as stand up, so he had. But you shouldn't look to Bilba as like, oh, if he can do it, I can do it because. You know. <laughs> yeah. But 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 John John's point is is spot on. Right? I just want to reemphasize again, is that whenever we start out, right, we have this fucking narcissistic thing whereby we think, okay, I'm gonna read my opinions out. I'm gonna just have a conversation with a yep. friend, and people are gonna want to listen to this. I, I'm fucking entertaining I'm, as fuck. I'm so ashamed to say that I was I was right there. <laughs> I think exactly. everyone everyone starts out a little bit. Or, or all like, of us start out like that, that way. Okay. Yeah. But the thing you have to understand is that people will not listen unless you entertain, unless yeah. you're entertaining, or unless you give some sort of value. Well, you have them. to be at least interesting. Like if yeah, you're not yeah. entertaining, you have to be at least interesting. Yeah. And interest is always a bit subjective, but I think. Uh, <laughs> If you have a good story to tell, you know something a bit wacky, something a bit strange. Uh, that that you might not necessarily need to be entertaining then, but that's a bit outside of the known formula, like, I would say, because mm. that one is really, uh, not every like once again, not everyone can pull it off. Um, I don't think there's a lot of interesting but non-entertaining podcasters out there. They are usually a bit of both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I think in Singapore, the the ones that will probably get out there will be the interesting ones. Cause there's not a lot of things that happen here. Not a lot. Well, I think, I think um, the Vels, uh, podcast, uh, some scuff. That's interesting, mm, but it's mm. not for everyone, and it's not. I wouldn't call it like laugh out loud entertaining, uh, entertainment, but because oh, of the okay. stories that she tells, uh, you know they are really quite out there. Uh, a lot of it is really off the beaten path. That kind of stories. So I kind of want to know more. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we we were discussing a couple of weeks ago actually of bringing uh the the onto yeah. our to, to guest our podcast because I, I I we actually realized uh we, we did a little chat and we realized that all our guests are all guys. <laughs> we have ne- we never really have like a female like no we we've, we've had Paula no but she's Paula. Gerald so they're like a couple yeah, yeah, who came yeah. yeah so like we no might just one... end up offending her you so. know what you should you should just bring Angie on but she won't she won't have the she won't have the webcam now but you just have a voice on then just. Bring... Uh, you can yeah, bring Sean's masseuse on. Yeah, we'll that. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason why we do this uh, recording thing live is because we, we want to see our faces. You see? So yeah, we would we want our guests to like. Th- this was not my idea. So it's uh, so I I was happy to just be the voice. And uh, I'll be I'll be honest now. Once we switch to lots of low bunks, then you know we are serious. The listening room is just our our platform. It's been our platform for three years. Sure, <laughs> Sean. No, uh, and even I the podcast the... that we used to record, right, at Josiah's house, 
for like the I think the last like five or six episodes, Sean has been doing it totally naked. Yes. <laughs> he's, yes. He's totally been naked. saying that you know I'm going to lose some <laughs> some skin. Did he put so TV on. It makes yeah, a like, lot of sense. No, no, so, it's yeah. too hot. It's too hot. Singapore is too, too hot. hot. No, but the, 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 the case is that, you know, like if you want to be interesting, one of us has to be in the news. Like I said, NTUC. In the must... news or in the nude? In the nude, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I misheard it the first time. So, yeah, that was my, that was my fault. But then, okay, but let me clarify. On, but, yeah. Let me clarify. Sean had a mask on and he was wearing it on his mouth. So oh, that you, mouth, you yeah. won't spread his... Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Then, yeah. That makes it all better then. That, that makes it all better. Yeah, yeah. But for the NTUC one, just just watch out. Lah. I'll give John his 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 his, his uh, boasting thing. I know that guy. Don't, don't, don't be afraid to say this. <laughs> so I know that guy. What you say, NTUC, Ishun, mask on what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that guy. We spoke about it. He's, uh, he's all up there. He, he did it for a purpose. It was for a statement. And that's yeah. when we'll change the name. <laughs> Alright, I think it's coming, it's, you're pushing 90 minutes. Lah. I think the, whoever's listening now will be like, guys, shut the fuck up, I need to get on my life. <laughs> so, yeah. I think it's time to come to a close. Uh, thank you, John. Uh, yeah, thank you, bro, for you. For coming uh, Danny as well. Uh, maybe, John, right. you want uh, maybe yeah, plug. You guys plug your own uh, uh, episodes and where can uh, any guests who want to check out your podcast, where can they go to? Yeah, John, so, so uh, I'm one of the four co-hosts of uh, Longkang Kiddies. You can find us on Spotify, on uh, iTunes, on uh, SoundCloud. So Longkang, uh, L L N G K A N G, then Kitties K I T T I E S. Uh, no space. Um, we are a bunch of guys and one girl talking Kopi Kam style about local politics and issues. Uh, quite fun, I I believe, and uh, is also a little bit like the listening room. If you like listening room, you might like us as well. Uh, but we do have a girl. They're so better. Yeah. The, uh, they, 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 have, have, they have. They have. They have one. Have female's better. perspective all the time, <laughs> uh, which I come to greatly regret. By the way. <laughs> uh, John, we bring our female perspective when Sean gets drunk. Okay. So yeah. that's how we even it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, so what about the, yourself? From the pussy hunter to the pussy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I I, I uh, have a show called Economical Rice Podcast. You can find it on Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, wherever. Uh, but now most of my stuff uh, I do on Fable Productions. So you can go to my website at fablproductions.com uh, to check out the work I do there. Yeah. For Chris. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for thank thanks you. for inviting us. Hey, thank you for having us. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. All right. I'm always happy to have people here. <laughs> <laughs>